Sure. Now, if you haven't heard of Sure before, then I think you're definitely missing out. If you're a videographer or a photographer, then you need to know about this brand because they make a wide range of accessories for people in those fields, such as monopods, tripods, tripod heads. They even make lenses. They actually probably were known for one of their anamorphic lenses that became pretty popular on YouTube because of its budget. It wasn't relatively awesome anamorphic lens that you could buy for under a thousand dollars and that's just unheard of so that's pretty systemic of what i think about Sure is they make really good quality products for a fraction of the price or at a budget that most normal people either practicing photography videography or using it as their business can afford this bag is case in point on exactly what i'm talking about the bag alone is worth 50 bucks i don't know i mean maybe not quite but I still like it and I use this bag for more than one thing, but I'll talk more about the bag in a second. Now for the main event. This is what I would consider the best budget tripod head that anyone getting started to prosumer should get. VH10X Sure. This thing is beautifully built. Now, you're probably wondering, well, doesn't that bring a little bit of extra weight, all that aluminum? Yes, this is aluminum and it is nicely machined. And yes, it does, but it adds a certain amount of weight that you can appreciate after using it. Now, before I got this thing, I was in the market for a tripod head for a while. And you're probably in the same boat as me, using the same standard ball head that comes with any cheap Amazon tripod or even a nice tripod, they just throw one in for fun. Case in point, something like this. Now, I, I actually can't throw a lot of shade at this particular ball mount, again, Sure. and full disclaimer, I'm a little bit of a fanboy of most of what they make. This is a pretty nice one, it's well machined. I don't have to worry about tightening it, that was pretty easy and it locks very nicely in place. It's got all the features, but as you know, trying to make this thing horizontal is a bit of a nightmare, it's no fun, and if you're going quick in a hurry, trying to temper the, 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 the drag resistance on this so you can get a nice pan when it comes to the following the talent, can be difficult so this this will get you through to get started whether you're a freelancer or you know just dabbling with the entire genre for a while you know maybe even if you're a travel photographer this is a go-to simple thing that works i would definitely upgrade it from the cheap amazon ones but it works case in point this is the upgrade now the direct competitor to sure is benro now benro i would completely overlook and go straight to sure like i said i'm a fanboy sue me but I think everything about their products is so much better. The exact competitor to this model from Benro is mostly made of plastic. Now, I know it's to keep weight down, and yes, there is a bit of weight here. Shh. You might not be able to see that, but it weighs a little over two pounds. That's definitely not a super light head when it comes to their items. But what I'll say is you can offset a lot of this with their carbon fiber monopods and carbon fiber tripods, which I actually do. The weight itself actually comes a feature that you enjoy. When you feel it, it actually holds the tripod down. It keeps it stable. The motion, because of the weight, gives it extra stability. And it's not something you think at first. You're just like, I don't wanna carry that thing around. Well, the point is, if you're bringing a tripod, you probably shouldn't be moving around too much. If you are, then you're thinking about a monopod. Whole other story, go check out one of my other videos. As far as these things go, this is a absolute beauty. Everything in here is metal. That's metal. This piece here is actually metal too. This is plastic. Well, yeah, this is plastic. Maybe this piece is plastic, but everything, the whole, little rubber grips, but everything on it, the buttons are all metal. It feels really nice. And that's just the first thing I would note about this tripod head. Now, starting from a lot of the other features, we have our standard pieces that we should talk about. But look at that extension. Look at that handle, you know? We got an easy manipulated locking mechanism. It's got the teeth, as you would expect, the standard sort of feature that comes with all of these. And look how far out you can get this thing. If you don't want it, you can bring it in. And if you wanna put it facing forward so you can have self-directed, if you're doing a YouTube video, you can actually manipulate it a little bit from the front. It's great. This is pretty standard feature that I think you're gonna find on any of the competition. Yes, it is ambidextrous. You just have to unscrew it and it will pop over to this side. This just pops off. Let's actually use this piece here. So let's take out our actual slide. This little puppy here, metal, nice little easy it locks it's, it feels smooth when it latches down it's not crunchy it doesn't feel too hard it's just got a nice little look just clip that's not going anywhere i mean that's not going anywhere absolutely love the feel whoop oh 
Oh, my bad. I actually just realized that I took out one of the threaded screws here. So I, this is actually such a standard mounting size that the sliding bracket from the DJI Ronin, which I just kept permanently affixed to the bottom of my camera, would fit in here. So I could put it on the Ronin right away and I could put it straight in here, which is a really cool feature, but that is why it slides right out the front. I had to remove this because it wasn't compatible with the DJI Ronin. So this locking mechanism will stop it from going backwards, but there actually is, when you purchase this unit, a little screw there that will stop it from sliding out. So that won't happen to you. <laughs> little features like this, they have a stopper inside so the screw doesn't come out. I'm sure we've all had that screw disappear on any of our uh, sliding brackets here. It doesn't, it comes out and it even, when you pop it out, it's as fixed, so it doesn't come, it doesn't disappear. You don't lose it. It stays right where it should. It's little things like that that you notice in products when you're buying from a company that start to make you fall in love. You obviously have your little pressure sensor. You can pull this out if you don't want to have that in there, if you want to lock it into a specific hole on some of the cages or whatnot, but all well built, the same standard size and Manfrotto. I believe, I can't remember the name of it. It's a Manfrotto size. It's pretty ubiquitous. All your Benro, all your competition is going to use the exact same sliding head in here. Everything here is very well built. Now, the springing mechanism on the side that allows you to have your tension for up and down, again, feels so smooth. Just, just, listen, just, just feel this with me, feel this with me. That's so nice, it's so nice. And there we go, it just locked. There we go, tension. I want a little bit less pressure, so I got a little bit there. Oh, I wanna lock it in that position. There, it's locked, it's done. It's such a nice experience. Now on Venro, this really didn't feel great. And I hate to be bashing them a lot, but you have to use it when comparing it. I believe this is a little bit more expensive than full plastic ones because they're plastic. It's these little features that I think if you're interested in that kind of product where it's nice and it feels good, then you're gonna appreciate this. The drag on the setup for the horizontal sort of pan and scan version of this, it has three slides. Now on three drag, it's the hardest it will be. So you go really slow, right? That puts a lot of tension. I'm really having to force it now. Number two is obviously the medium. And then number one allows for a relatively easy drag. It can go back and forth pretty easy. Zero is full free form. It's like there's nothing really going on there, but it still feels very smooth. This was one of the selling features for me. This little thing here latches it down. So if in any position I'm in zero, boom, I'm just locked, I undo that, full free, locked again. When I went into the store and actually felt this compared to Benro, there was a couple other brands, there was even Manfrotto, and I did the comparison of the pan and scan. So thinking about stewing people on stage and was actually have to pan left to right, following the talent as they go back and forth. Not only was this the smoothest unit out of all of them, but it also had the least amount of slop when it came to stopping and going backwards. The version of this to that, when with a little bit of drag on it, was so much smoother than any of the competition. I actually had some pretty big brands that I felt like there was lumps as it was going across each one of the bearings. So this was the main selling point for me on this unit, combined with all the other features that I've just outlined. You can see the entire base here is your standard threaded mount for any of your tripod heads. These are some Allen keys that help you lock it down and keep it tight, but this is all machined aluminum. It's got the weight, it's got the meat, so to speak. It's a really nice unit, and I would 100% recommend this to anybody. Now, I know I mentioned the bag before, and it's not just because it's a pretty nice little bag, but it actually has a secondary use that I used many times on many shoots. Let me show you. Here is one of my cameras, an EOS R with a 15 to 35 2.8. This is the RF lens. This is a big beast. I mean, look at it in my hands. It's a pretty decent camera. This, if you notice the shape of it, oh, it's a very nice fit. Yes, it doubled as my camera bag. It actually was the most quick and easy to use camera bag out of my entire arsenal. Many backpacks, many dedicated backpacks for camera carrying, but it's gotta come off, you gotta do the straps. This thing, boom, put it, the camera in there. I can just bring it along, undo it. Could even have Rode mics on here, and this thing was ready to shoot. It actually also fit even when I had the uh, plate on the bottom here from DJI. It's just one of the perks. Okay, who's this unit for? I think it is for anybody starting in photography, videography, looking to go from this upgrade to this upgrade. 
It is by far a better unit when it came to quality of build, everything about it from the, the feeling of each of the knobs to every one of the grips feels so much nicer than any of the cheaper plastic versions that you will get for a comparable price. I, I promise you that the expense on this compared to, again, a Benro of the same competition would be comparable. It is probably a little bit more, but in my eyes, worth it. Now, if you're a connoisseur of the finer things in life and you do appreciate well-machined parts, yeah, nice smooth bearings and, and, and how things feel when they lock up, then this is the ticket for you. The downside is that that comes with a price of a little bit extra when it comes to cost and also a little bit extra weight. The weight on this being over like two pounds is significant for a lot of people. They really want the weight as their number one issue taken care of, and maybe this isn't the unit for you. This is gonna be the major con for this. Otherwise, I can't really pick much of a fault. It does what it's supposed to for the price range, and it's perfect. Size-wise, it's great. We're talking mirrorless cameras. It's a nice little unit. It takes care of everything you would need, videography, photography-wise. Well, that's pretty much the long and the short on how I feel about this Suray product. Like I said, I'm a fanboy, so sue me, but I really do like it. And I think it would be a great additive to anybody's arsenal out in the field, in the industry, looking to get a great little tripod for on the go motion. Now, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is true? Do you think I'm giving it too much weight just because I like the nice machine parts? Or do you think there's a time and a place? Do you think it's going to be worth it? If you have one, if you don't, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. I'm super interested to hear your feedback as well, because yeah, I got this little closed loop system on my opinions and hey, I think my opinions are great. So, you know, I'm gonna keep going with it. I guess if you guys are interested, remember links in the description, Amazon, Adorama, we have both of them for Suray products, all sorts of products, I have a lot of them. Just check it out if you're interested. And otherwise, appreciate you guys for checking it out. Hope you got something out of it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.